Hi class, it's Mr. Tepetla. Welcome back. Today's class will focus on photography. There's three basic things that you need to know about photography. The first thing you need to know about photography is how to hold a camera. This is the correct way to hold a camera, whether it be a cell phone or a DSLR camera. The bottom hand allows your camera to remain stable, whether you're lifting up and down or side to side. And this top hand is good for adjusting the camera knobs or doing the actual clicking on the camera when you're taking your photographs. Even on a smartphone, you can use your thumb on the back of the camera to take the photos. Next, we're gonna be discussing the three basics of photography. The first one being framing. So framing is when you use existing things with inside of that frame that you see on the screen there to create an artificial frame inside of that screen. So you'll notice that there's a top portion here, which is that gray area. Then I have a speaker here on this side, right? You see the speaker here on this side? And then on the opposite side, I have a lamp there on that side. That's creating an, a frame an artificial frame with inside of the screen that I'm showing you on the cell phone camera. And that is framing. You can use things that are artificial, such as what I just showed you here that I have set up. You could also use things in nature, such as a tree, plants, uh, like a bush, some flowers. Maybe it's a post, uh, maybe it's a fence, a car, anything that you might see, whether it be artificial or natural, can all be used to create a frame with inside of the screen of the camera. The second basic of photography is context. Context within photography is the story that your photograph is sharing with the viewer. For example, very specific photos of grandma's tamales, some albondigas, chilaquiles, pozole, menudo, things of that sort that are very traditional in Mexican culture, someone might think that, yes, this photograph is telling a story about Mexican cuisine, Mexican food, or Mexican culture, specifically the food of the culture. Another example would be if you're taking photographs of cars, if you're taking photographs of lowriders specifically, then the context of those photographs would be lowrider culture, lowrider car culture. Another example would be taking photographs of dresses, but we can be more specific. If you're taking photographs of wedding dresses, then the context of your photographs would be about weddings, specifically wedding dresses. So you see, context can tell a story. So what story do you have to share? The context is the story. The third basic of photography is the subject.
What is a subject? A subject is the star of the show, the focus of your photograph. What is in focus? It's the thing that you are focusing in on when you're taking your photograph. For example, if everything in the background is blurry, but that one thing is very sharp, very clear, and very much in focus, that is the subject. And everything else in the background becomes background. But the thing in focus is the subject. That is the star of the show. For example, if you're taking photographs of flowers, but you only focus in on one flower, one specific flower, that is the subject. That is the star of the show. Now that we have learned how to hold a camera, what framing is, what context is, and what a subject is, what I'd like for you all to do is get your camera and begin taking photographs and keep all those three key things in mind. Framing. Use things around your environment to create a frame within the screen of your phone or your DSLR camera if you have one available. Context. Context is the story. What story are you trying to share? Is it a story about your culture? Is it a story about something that you've experienced? What is your context? Subject. Who or what is the star of the show? What is the main thing that you want to focus on? Maybe your parents, and maybe it's grandma, grandpa, an aunt or an uncle. Maybe it's your pet. Now what I'd like for you all to do is get your camera and start taking pictures and keep those three things in mind. Framing, context and subject. Have fun, I'll see you all back in a couple of minutes.
Welcome back, class. I can't wait to see the photographs that you all have taken. Now, what I'd like for you all to do is, if you have access to Wi-Fi or internet, please be sure to share some of these photos with your friends in class or your family and get some feedback on it. They're probably gonna have some questions to ask you about your photographs. One of the things that they might ask you is, what made you take these photographs? Specifically, what is it about the photographs? Remember the context. What story is this telling? What story are your photographs sharing with the viewer? Is this photograph about your culture? Is it about something that you see? Is it a story about a car, comic books, shoes, clothing, school, friends, family? It could just be about anything, but just be ready to answer some of those questions. They might also ask you, why did you choose these specific things or colors inside of your photograph? They may also ask you, why did you frame it in such a way? Or why was that the star of your show? Be ready to answer these questions along with a couple of other questions that you'll see on the screen shortly. And that's the end of the lesson plan. Thank you for joining me today and I'll see you on the next one. Take care class.